guys, welcome back to Day in the Life of My Kitchen. <laughs> so, I'm still quite restricted, but the best that I can do. The recipe at the end, I will put in the description box below. So, off, just a bit of brekkie. Does anyone remember about this time last year? And I had really bad eczema on my hand. Look what's back. This time every year. It's got to be environmental, I think. Anyway, I'm meant to be talking about my toast, not my ex. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, quick question. How are you all liking them quizzes? I've noticed there's a lot of people answering them. So, I had some breakfast, chuck the kids out. They've been doing choir and they've got two shows. So, Wednesday and tonight which is thursday so they asked me to make them a cake because we'll be doing so much running about mom that we can have a cake as a treat when we come back so yeah muggins here all i did was get the one of the cake boxes out this is why i love to buy them especially when they're on the cheap because it took me two minutes and they thought i'd spent half the half the day making them a cake bless them so yeah so this is just a Betty Crocker classic yellow cake. And it's a cup of water, half a cup of oil and three eggs. That's what they usually are. And they make a good size cake. So I'll whip this up for them. Had me break. <laughs> That's life at the minute, I'm afraid, guys. Now I'm back. Get it in the oven. Have a break again. And it is that bad. Just hoping it starts to heal up soon. It's all from that day when Amy had a birthday party. Me trying to do more than I should. So that's cake baked. I think it took 30 minutes. Look at the rice on it. <laughs> I should have used a bigger pan, but I couldn't bother to rake them out, so I used that. The kids weren't bothered. It was nice and soft. There's one piece left. <laughs> right, guys, so because this has come during the uh, filming of the day in the life, as some others have, I thought I'd just show you quickly what we've got. So it's not like a regular haul where I'm going to whip out all the prices and that. I'm just going to show you what we got. So there's two large enchanted galaxy eggs. Sounds a bit broken. <laughs> I'm laughing because Steve's literally just stood there and felt it and says, sounds broken. <laughs> that one done. Oh, you'll have to eat that one then. I'll get another no, one. No. <laughs> Twiglets. I never buy these for Steve and there's three of these. I personally haven't seen this one before. White raspberry popping candy. Steve likes a salted caramel one of these. So I bought that for Steve to try. Now, I've never tried the classic white. So I thought I'd give that one a bosh. It's moist. Steve, shut up. <laughs> Wagon wheels, original, just for backups. Club, salted caramel, I don't think Caitlin likes these ones. Uh, pack ups as well. This is the Atogi frying mix. As you can see, there's prawns done there. Um, when we do our chicken balls in butter or uh, prawns, we do like this one and the Utaka brand. They're really, really good. The Stokes brand is really good for their sauces. Chipotle pe um, ketchup. This is ketchup, by the way. Ketchup made with chipotle chili peppers. So this won't last long. I wouldn't have thought with Steve because he likes anything with chilies in. Then we've got the Nando's dip sauce or and spread. This is medium sweet chili jam. 
Well, if it's medium, it would be too hot for me. <laughs> I did a recipe not long ago, the pasta one with Creole seasoning. I've got some more. This was mainly for the condiments. A black bean sauce. This I see all over American halls, especially Mexican food and stuff like that. So next time I do my bulk of bulk pot of chili, I'm gonna add these in. What was that? What was that, Steve? I don't believe you. I'm gonna put these in. <laughs> <laughs> What's we rumbling? So yeah, give him a nice different flavour in his chili. I keep getting these because the kids like these, so another four of these. These I got for the Easter video I'm doing, so I'm not saying no more, but they're just Terry's chocolate orange mini eggs in white. So yeah, they're for an Easter video. These are extortionate price. These are to go inside my next batch of ice cream when I decide to make it. This is a video that will be, this is going into a video that I'll be putting up Friday next week. So the next day in the life. So that's for that. And these have got really expensive. If you look these up on Amazon, they've gone to about three or four pound. It's ridiculous. They were a quid from where I got them from. The World Food Shop, by the way, guys. So Stokes again, this is chilli jam. We've had some uh, gusto recipes with chilli jam in, haven't we? Hmm, it's quite nice. I came across one the other day that had mango chutney. So I got some of that so we could try that recipe. Sriracha. There's a pork, Chinese pork recipe that'll be next week. And that's got sriracha in. So I've got some. Some caramelised red onion chutney. That's really nice on burgers. Rice wine vinegar. That's the Abenta brand again. Same as the frying powder. <laughs> Pooper star. Fruity flush. After party spray. Post poo air freshener. Spray around the bowl before you leave. So that'll go next to the toilet and I bet you nobody takes that wrapper off. <laughs> that was one for about 40 odd pence so I thought I'd get one for Steve to try. It's got um, ginger in it so I only bought one even at that price and he's like oh you should have bought more. But I mean if you don't like them it's just a waste isn't it. Servers! Just because the kids are constantly moaning and I think it's just so they can eat them. These are not cheap. Again, they go in my ice cream, so I'll hide them at the back. For Steve, seven mini bars, seven seconds to eat. Isn't it, Steve? One day for a week. One day? Yeah, right. 55 calories, Steve, in each bar. That's right. <laughs> and then these always take me back to my childhood. They look, look like little nuggets of rabbit poo, but they taste absolutely amazing. The original one there, there was mint and orange chocolate nipples. So that's what came from the World Food Shop today. So enjoy the rest of the video. So here comes a recipe. That is two um, 300 gram pieces, how do you think then, of scored belly pork. So just two small pieces. There's no skin on the top. That what I've scored is just fat. This is a sweet dish, a sweet Asian dish. But it was enjoyed. This cooked on low, no, on high for three hours. But because we've had these um, <sighs> choir things at night, it's not, Steve's not getting back with the kids until like eight o'clock. So he's not having his tea till like half eight. So I needed something that would be cooked and quick but would still be a good home cooked meal you know 
So I had the two 300 pound, 300 pound, <laughs> 300 gram pieces of belly pork, one sliced onion, some sliced mushrooms, and they cooked for so long that there was like um, some seasoning there, guys. There was like, let me think, like caramelized, not burnt, but caramelized. So that was a pinch of cayenne. You could have gone a bit more than I did. I'll put the measurements in. So we've got balsamic vinegar. <laughs> a little bit of chicken stock. I chucked the rest in because I want much left. There you are, 90 mils. Some honey. This was four tablespoons, supposed to be. <laughs> Again, I needed some quick that I could just chuck in there and not have to worry about it. Anytime I came through the kitchen yesterday when this was filmed, some garlic go, going straight into the pan. It's supposed to be three cloves. I just crushed a load up and chucked it in. We love garlic. Um, I just basted it. I basted the belly pork in all the juices. And you think, oh, there's a lot of liquid in there. It's not very thick. But you wait until the end of the day. The juices just thicken up. So some soy going in as well. Five spice. Gotta love me some five spice. Just making sure that any powder that I've put in there is mixed in. That's the only liquid you're going to put in. You're going to get liquid out of the... Don't look like out, out at the minute, does it? <laughs> you're going to get liquid out of all the, the little bits of vegetables and the meat juices as well. So this is what I did. Whenever I got the chance, just popped in and kept basting it during the day. You don't even have to do that, but I did because I wanted that flavour all over the top as well. A Birmingham somewhere around here, or it's the next time I do it. <laughs> you can see them juices are getting all in, in them cuts that I put in that meat. And it gets so dark in colour. So the kids have just got home from school. So this is night one of their show. They've had a hot dinner at school. Roast pork, I do. No, it was roast ham, I think, they had. So they're having a sandwich with some bits. cheese string and a yogurt they're going to be gone till 8 o'clock and this is half past 3 in the afternoon so they've got that bit extra and then tonight when they get back they'll just have a little bit of cake and then they'll settle down in bed I don't know if there's a way I can upload just this because you're not allowed to record in there obviously because of school children but you can record the sound but not the image and I've got the sounds from the choir I don't know <laughs> and it was so good and I don't know if I could upload just that or not I'll have to see speak, speak to Steve so this is Steve's favorite black currant jam that he just got in the last haul that I'm stealing. I 
I also legged it this morning as well with a, a packet of his twiglets and chucked them in Caitlin's pack up box. She grasped me up when she was on the way home. So I got to hold her off. <laughs> I had to whip that a little bit more, it won't, just won't quite. So yeah, there's whole blackberries in that. And my kids really enjoyed it, I was so shocked, especially at Amy. She is well known to be a fussy little beggar. So I didn't do it in particular, it was just your basic cake. But everyone really enjoyed it. Oh, look at them. And it's still not done yet. It's hard to show you when it starts to get all caramelised like that. It takes on a burnt look when it's dark. But it definitely isn't. But yeah. That's the next time I come in, look. Look how dark it went on top. But it's so tender and juicy. It really is. Look at that, guys. So I'll give you the recipe for that. And that was with microwave rice. So it couldn't have even been easier than that. And some fl flatbreads that we had. Heated them up. So if you got this far, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.